Party Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans Inc. at today's manga Nerdigan Live reaction video is going to be for King and Omega chapter 184. So before I get into this recap and live reaction, let us just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because of course this channel let alone this video are not sponsored and not we ain't sponsored by Comic Key, which is where you can read Simul Pubs for King and Omega. But if you love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking, so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be new analysis or live reactions like this one feel free to hit up our cash up and paypal links are in the description box below so okay so first off i do have to mention this that um zero me on i hope you are watching my content like i think you are because i really appreciate that um you showed the artistic process of the background for the inside that i wanted <laughs> um we found out that um, what he did for that background of the inside was indeed, and I was right, it was AI art. And it looks so cool how he did it, and he posted it on um, his Twitter. I'll post a link to that in the description box. And we also found out, um, and this was as I was, um, you know, writing my article about uh, what's been going down on Japanese Twitter, that of all the artists to be in the um in the shadow ban realm based on skin color regulation yes this was going down why were you in there Termion? you're one of the most diverse artists you draw characters um in like almost every skin tone i don't understand why you were there i'm confused by this to be honest but i will wait for that explanation i need that explanation i do but anyways um last chapter of king and omega uh we got the meaning of the minds in the inside which was really cool to see and uh we got some references to um other sex at the inside as well um and uh there's a possibility with the connector and i didn't realize it until um Omo recognized him that Possibly because remember he has achieved true reincarnation that Oma and Ryuki are clones of the connector. I Hope that is the case Sandrovich that would be amazing Please be doing this <laughs> Anyways, uh, now we're getting into the next round and it's going to be Raido versus Sopping so without further ado, let's get to it. And this chapter is titled The Shield and the Spear. It's the age-old shield and spear paradox, but today's showdown is not between the all-piercing spear and the impenetrable shield, but the sharpest fingers versus the hardest skull. <laughs> oh my god, I need a drink for this. Oh my god. Sandra Fish, I love you so much for this. This makes me so happy and dare me on what did you do for this what did you do for this holy shit yo this is beautiful wow wow okay now i need to know if you used ai on this one wow dare me on if this is hand drawn holy shit I need to know if this is hand drawn or not. I am going to ask him this. Cause god damn. I swear to god, Darmion, I need it you need to just freaking let me interview you. Cause I need to post I want to promote your freaking art and bounding. You're being so stubborn, saying that it would be repetitive. But god damn it. I want I, I really want to promote your art. <laughs> God damn, I need to know if this is AI or not. I need to know. This is beautiful. If this is hand drawn, holy shit. Marauder, well, Marauder should watch out anyway, but damn, look how beautiful this is. Holy crap. Damn. Damn. Mofos better watch out. 
On one side, the fireball fighter from Myanmar with a bone density as high as his energy, the howling spirit, Yorizuka uh, Sapeng. Yeah, yes! Dude, I know this. Like, something I do know, though, all the characters, those are all hand-drawn. Those are all hand-drawn. And they are beautiful. Look at this shit. Damn. Look at Sapeng. He looks fantastic. All that detailing and the musculature. Shit, look, his nipples are so hard. He's <laughs> so excited. <laughs> Don't think I would notice that detail. And the aura in the background looks fantastic. And, ooh, I noticed the subtle detail. Look at that. Look at the, look at this in the background, the aura, between the difference in aura between Raido and Sabe. It's beautiful. And facing him, the fighter from the land of the rising sun is ready to rip up the world. His uh, fighting skills are ever growing. It's the Superman Lido. Yeah, look at that. Look how subtle this is. And his aura. Damn, Lido's looking good. And yes, notice the nipples aren't as. I know it's weird I'm talking about nipples at like almost eight in the morning. But look at that. His nipples aren't as hard and defined. I have to point that out. I know. I have. I notice these things. I want to just double check. Are the lines aren't as bold as well? Ooh, that's very interesting too. The lines too, like the outlines, they're not as um, they're not as hard either. They're softer. That's very interesting. Very very. I am noticing these things. Yeah, because remember, Sopping. I know it's his foot. I know it's his head. That is harder, like the world's hardest head. But I mean, oh god damn it. D damn it. <laughs> but I mean, he's supposed to be a shield. Bitch, his body is reflecting it. Oh god. I think, yeah, I notice it everywhere else but the, hand, the uh, hands. Notice the line is not, um, the outline is, uh, is a lot softer compared to like the fist, I notice this and I like it. It's like, this is why I like Jeremy on's art so much. It's these subtle little things that really make it stand out. And that's why I get bit, and I have to point this out. This is why I get very nitpicky and very critical about like art, whether it be manga, mama, and anime art, because like even like one line, like a subtle change, like a line can just make a huge difference. It's, I know. <laughs> but this is not the paradox as we know it. Both of them are all piercing spears, but which one will be broken? Uh, but then again, I want to point this out. Look how, uh, look at now. The line work is not the uh, borders, the outlines. Look how no they're normal now. They're not as thick, but, um, they're just not, they're back to, you know, what they usually are. I like, see, see what I mean? My metaphorical art. I love it so much. I'm going all out. You, um, you hold back on me and you'll be sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, look at his face. I'm your announcer, Katahara uh, Sayaka, and I'm your commentator, Jerry Tyson. Our guest commentator for this match is, uh, the fighter, Makichi Robinson. Uh, oh, Robinson, what are you doing here? My pleasure. Now you fought both uh, Lido and yours, uh, Zuka saw Peng before, ain't that right? Um, so Makichi, what, what's your impression from fighting bo uh, them both? Well, I fought Lido two years ago and saw Peng one year ago. Uh, both were in Kengen matches. I lost to Lido, but I somehow ma managed to um, edge out against saw Peng. I was there for your match with saw Peng. I thought it was a match for the history books. Thank you very much. Now, these were just the results of uh, single matches, so don't take that to mean that Sopping is weaker than Lido. As for my impressions, um, Lido's weapon um, is his razor fingers. I kind of wish the fingers were looking a little sharper. But, whatever. Well, Sopping uh, pings is his powerful headbutt. Hey, when in doubt, headbutt. Yeah. 
And the skull looks amazing. Again, the skull looks amazing. And the right looks good. In my personal opinion, Sopping has the advantage in this match. The reason I say this is the amendment to the Kengen match rules, specifically the new class stating that causing your opponent's death results in disqualification. The Razor's Edge is a technique that intrinsically uh, results in bleeding. A poorly placed strike could kill his opponent. Lido will need to devise a strategy while keeping that in mind. I see that. And and that caution might end up putting the brakes on him. That concern itself speaks to the power of his move. Well, considering who he's trained under, I think Lido has probably refined his abilities, and he's not as messy, and he could probably control his razor to where he doesn't make killing blows. I'm just saying. Now the wait is over. Take your stance. Let's go. The referee is uh, Tashiro Masashi. He's known for strict refereeing. Oh, Jesus. Fight! Let's go. Ooh. This is looking good. I gotta go. Man, you gotta make me compare this to Hajime no Ippo, because... Oh God, the, uh, that punch, the fight in Hajime no Ippo yesterday was just so beautiful. You gotta maybe compare this to that. Mm. You think so too, Kitty? I'm leaning towards maybe this being a little i kind of want to say this is a little bit i can't believe i'm saying this maybe stiffer than what we saw in hajime no Ippo, but maybe it's because of the angle this is in but man what uh morikawa did was just oh oh so good oh I take that back. This is, I would say, in terms of, I'm talking about in terms of punches, because obviously you can't kick in boxing. This is in terms of punches. I would say this may be just a, not by much, maybe like a teeny bit stiffer. No. Because um, Hajime no Ippo, there was rapid punches as well. Right? Those rapid punches are fluid as fuck. I would say this is probably on... Yeah, I would say this is on par. Um, if we were doing rapid punches, that'd be a different story. But this is not doing that. Um, but damn. You see, and I have to compare this to Dandadan because Dandadan's fight... Oh, God, it was fluid as fuck. And I said in my Dan to Dan live reaction, you see how there's that bend in the elbow and how it's moving, how, you know, Raido is move, moving like that. That it bugs me when in anime and manga, we don't have, uh, in manga too, when there's no bend in the elbow and it just is so stiff. God, I love when we get the shit when it's not stiff. Yeah, this is nice and fluid. This is nice and fluid. Ooh, that kick looks good too. Yeah. Kick is nice. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah, this is looking good. This is looking good. I'm, I'm very pleased. Very, very pleased. And to no one's surprise, we've got an intense slugfest right off the bat. Okay, here's the rapid punches. Now I can really compare this to Hajime no Ippo. Um, we got slug, an intense slugfest. Uh, oh my god, why can't I fucking talk? talk right now. And to no one's surprise, we've got an intense slugfest right off the bat. It looks like Lido's starting off at the upper hand. Ooh, here's the rabbit punch. Mm. Ah, man. I'd say Morikawa. I, I really love Morikawa's rabbit punches. I do. Huh? Ooh, a body blow. Ooh. What a throw! Damn! Hold on. Ooh. 
He's going for the hold. Huh? No, wait, he shook him off. They're going back to a uh, standing fight. Looks like the close, the close range headbutt um, was too much for him. But putting distance between them will just be asking for a full power hot, uh, headbutt. Will this decision work out for him or against him? Ooh. Already? Razor's Edge Hammer of Burma. Ooh. <gasps> Ooh, neither spear is broken. The paradox has yet to be resolved. Nice going, Lionel. Let's kick this up into high gear. So this is a warm-up. This is the warm-up of the paradox. So now we go into the high gear next week. But, ooh, they're both bleeding. All right. Or is that just, um, oh, no. I think that, ooh, is that just saw pain that's bleeding? Yeah. Looks like it's just saw pain that's bleeding. Sweet. Okay. So, overall, with the art, it looks good. Could it be better? Well, because this was a warm-up, Let's be real, this was a warm-up. We're getting, uh... Darameon Sandrovich has set you up. <laughs> Sandrovich has really set you up now, my man. You gotta step it up next week. You really gotta step it up, because Sandrovich has set you the fuck up. Because this is supposed to be a warm-up. Oh, boy. Next week has got to be hot. It's got to be some of the best for, for Lido. Or... Rido. God damn it. I'm, I'm so used to the old name. Sometimes I keep, I get them mixed up still. Damn it. I miss, I miss the other name. I know, I, I know some people still call him Rido, but I miss, I miss using the name Rido. <laughs> Rido is such a better name than Lido. Damn it. Um, but this art is looking pretty good. I'm really, I'm for the most part, I am pleased. I wish for um, Lido's weapon is his razor uh, fingers. I wish she would have. I wish Darmion would have done something similar to at the beginning of the chapter where we saw, but um, see like the razors or like the claws or, or see like some claws or some talons or something at, with the fingers. Yeah, the tips, fingertips. I think that would have really um, made this look a little bit better for me. Um, because, I mean, with Saw Pain, you got to see the fucking skull. I mean, um, but, uh, overall, I'm very pleased with this chapter in terms of art. The art is looking good. The art, it, it's, it's, um, it's, well, it's serviceable. <laughs> or what, it's doing what it needs to do. Um, especially since this is just a warm-up to, um, uh, the real fight that we're going to be getting next week. I'm looking forward to this fight next week, especially if uh, this means Daramion's going to go all out. Oh, you better be going all out next week. I want to see the high gear. I want to see the high gear next week. Ooh. But um, anyways, I'm very curious what is going to happen next. Um, with the, this fight. I can't wait to see the metaphorical art for this fight. There's some good sh There is some good shit that can be done here. But I do like that there's... Um, I like the wording here. with the um, Especially the metaphor here with the paradox. I like that a lot. Anyways, I'm very curious what you guys thought of, um, of this chapter. What do you guys think of the uh, combat art? Um, that we're getting this week and do you think Sandrovich kind of set uh, Daryl me on up <laughs> um, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and remember to like comment share and subscribe to nerdy and love what we're doing want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we could keep bringing you more can game content Anyways, ways you can do that donate to our cash app PayPal patreon purchase something off our Amazon wish list all that's in the description box below also make sure you follow us on Twitter twitch discord friend us on PlayStation Network that's in the description box below as well Till next time, nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.